This is video log number 75, Commander Ruben Santiago, September 30th, 3017, 8.45, Standard Andromeda time. Um, you know, in our, in our excursions, we did find a bunch of these lying around. I'm not sure what they are. Um, uh, they definitely appear to be electrical, so I'm going to see if maybe Agora can uh, reroute the circuits and um, maybe, maybe they can cover a little bit more about our history in Earth One's past. Uh, we also found another device like before. This one actually says medium business. Laura? Analysis complete, Commander. Would you like to view the records? Yeah, please, full screen. I'm a veterinarian on the South Hill of Spokane and the uh, focus of our business is providing uh, veterinary medical, surgical, and dental services to uh, clients on the South Hill. Our vision, probably simply put, is exceptional patient care and exceptional client care. And we do that by having uh, daily, daily with our whole staff talking about relationship and talking about what do we do to make that relationship matter focusing on the relationship with our clients and their clients and their pets. And we built, we just build the practice on that. The goal of our practice is that exceptional veterinary care and exceptional care of the clients and the relationship with their pets. We're involved with Ferris High School, the Ham on Regal, we're supportive of that every year. Uh, we're, we're involved with the Science Project at Mullen Road Elementary School and also uh, with the Career Fair at Freeman Middle School. Uh, in addition, we every year we have a food drive for uh, Second Harvest Food Bank. Spokane Gymnastics is the leading largest uh, children's gymnastics center in the Spokane area. Uh, we offer over 300 classes uh, every session that we've got going on right now with almost 2,000 students enrolled. Uh, we offer numerous different programs, gymnastics, parkour, ninja zone for ages toddler through adult. It's not an easy sport. You're going to fall down and you need to get back up and it gets frustrating sometimes. So it's about perseverance as well as the sport of gymnastics. We're involved in a lot of community service efforts. Um, our owner is on the board for numerous agencies within the Spokane community. For example, Embrace Washington, which supports um, foster children, social workers, and the families who provide, uh, the foster families who provide care for the children. The partnerships with other organizations within the community is something that not Many gyms do, it's not very traditional, but we've gotten a lot of reward from that. And so it's more outside the business than a specific model. We are a very different gym than other gyms. Our culture is completely different. There's a different energy. We're goofy, we're fun. We take what we do with gymnastics and safety very seriously, but it's the gym where we're gonna be dressing up and doing silly things and making the kids and the parents smile. We specialize in automotive reconstruction or automotive accident reconstruction. Uh, also do biomechanical injury analysis. So when you're looking at the occupants inside of a vehicle and how they respond to a crash and how they're injured in a crash, we also do that as well. So we go from the outside to the inside if necessary, depending on the case. When I was a kid, um, I was terrible at making things and building things or putting, repairing things, but I was fantastic at breaking stuff. I've always been fascinated by how things break and then trying to figure out how to understand how they ended up breaking in the first place and then trying to analyze it and put the pieces of the puzzle back together because at the end of the day, that's what I do. People come to me and say, how did this happen? And can you tell us more about it, give us some details, help us to understand it more quantitatively? Uh, that's what I do. I put those pieces back together and I've always enjoyed it. And it's great because it's not the same thing every day. It's always different. We essentially answer questions or answer problems about real estate. We're, um, uh, we have clients who generally most of them want to know, you know, what's my property worth? Uh, Lenders want to know what's the collateral worth that, that they're going to take uh, in a lending transaction. We're, we're problem solvers. Um, appraisers, I suppose, tend to be kind of nerdy in that respect. They like to solve complex problems, and the more complex, the better it seems to be in, in some respects. Uh, but it's, it's, it's also interesting, you know, particularly in our, at least in our company, we're, we're large enough um, that we have a lot of... Uh, 
a lot of different kinds of projects at any given time. So we have uh, uh, appraisers or researchers kind of bumping around from office to office, you know, seeking some help. It's kind of an interesting deal. It creates an interesting culture. We have a group of individuals who are pretty much working on their own, but who all band together and create some synergy that gives us, uh, you know, the ability to have a, a great culture and, to, and uh, to have a good place to go to work during the day. So I'm watching this and now realizing that many of the places that I thought originally came from Andromeda or Messier 82 actually started right here on Earth One in Spokane. That's pretty cool. Agora, continue working on those iPhone things and see if we can get the circuits to work. Uh, this is video log number 75, Commander Santiago.